Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I recently picked up the Mac Studio just by itself, meaning without a display, and I was really excited to hook it up in my studio. But during the setup process, things did not go as planned. The biggest setback was the incompatibility with my big ultra wide monitor, which did not work at full resolution. I eventually solved this problem, and in this video, I'm gonna share a solution on how I did that. But first, before we begin, remember to like this video for the YouTube algorithm. During the setup process, I found out that the Mac Studio does not work with the ultra-wide monitors when you try to use it with the HDMI port. Part of the issue is that the HDMI on the Mac Studio is 2.0, which supports 4K at 60 frames per second. The monitor I have is a 49 inch Samsung CRG ultra wide monitor, which supports a resolution of 5120 by 1440p. Now, when I connect this with the Mac Studio using the HDMI port, I get a resolution of 3840 by 1080p. Just to show you what I'm talking about, using the Mac Studio, the ultra wide monitor kind of feels like this. If you look closely, then you can see that on the 5120 by 1440p resolution, you can fit a lot more content than on the 3810 by 1080p. But as you can see, they're overlapping on the 3840 by 1080 resolution. Also, the text is not sharp at all. It feels distorted because of aspect ratio on the 3840 by 1080 resolution. Here's another screenshot showing the text sharpness on both resolutions. Now, I could have bought the studio display, but the main reason I did not buy that is because I really enjoy the ultra-wide monitor, and I can get things done faster. It allows me to fit multiple things on one screen. So, what did I do to fix it? Well, there are two real solutions to fix this issue. First one costs around $19, and the second one costs around $300 or more depending on the pricing. The cheaper $19 solution requires a USB-C to display port cable. This is the exact cable that I got from Amazon. The brand that I got is called Maxonar. Do note this is my second attempt. The previous cable I found did not seem to work. So do keep in mind to get that exact same cable otherwise your mileage may vary. The packaging was surprisingly premium. The cable build quality seems really good. The connector does not get hot or even warm when it's in use which is really good. Installing it should be quite simple, but in my case, it wasn't so simple. Since I have a Samsung CRG9, I had to first open the little sections and then run the wires. After I got everything connected, I was able to use the full resolution, which was 5120 by 1440p. The picture looks awesome and it works flawlessly. I can even run it at a full 120 hertz refresh rate. Now there's one downside to this. When I wake up the Mac Studio from sleep, sometimes, and it's really rare, it does take time to wake up. I would say it takes anywhere from four to five seconds to come on. For me, that's not really a deal breaker. As long as this cable works fine, that's all I care about. Now for the more expensive solution, I used a docking station. In this case, I'm using my tried and tested CalDigit docking station. By the way, CalDigit just came out with a new version called TS4, but this version that I have is a TS3, which is a Thunderbolt 3 docking station. I currently use this for my MacBook Pro. I highly recommend using this CalDigit docking station as I've tried and returned so many other different docks and solutions which never work properly. With this dock, I can easily use my MacBook Pro as a desktop. I can easily hook it up with my peripherals like the display, power, mic, external drives, and whatever. And then I can just connect my MacBook using one cable and that's pretty much it. It really simplifies all the cable management and all the different connections. But coming back to the main topic, I was able to easily use this docking station in the new Mac Studio and get 5120 by 1440p resolution. With this dock, I had no issues whatsoever and it worked flawlessly. So in your case, if you're having display issues with your ultra wide monitor, these two solutions will probably work for you. I hope you can apply these solutions to your display problems and get those resolved. Typically, every new system when it comes out has its sets of problems. So I decided to share mine as I found solutions to the issues that I had with the Mac Studio display. Now this display issue is a pretty common issue with the Macs and the solution works with the Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, and now the Mac Studio. That's it guys for this one. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. 
Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one.